Hey there guys, so this is my latest haul. Can't wait to show you what I've had turned up and I really can't wait for some of this to actually open it and give it a listen. I've been eager for one of these albums. I've been eager to play the vinyl and or spin the vinyl and play the CD. I've been eager but the vinyl turned up yesterday. I, and then I had an email saying the CD was going to turn up today so I thought I'd wait till it's all turned up before I do a video. Two of, um, one of the CDs came from HMV because I popped up earlier. As I was, um, just thought I'd go up there just to see what they had and picked up one CD. And the rest are obviously all from Amazon pre-orders. <coughs> the first one is Chapter 2, Legacy, Ad Inf Infinitum. Absolutely cracking band. Um, Swiss Symphonic Metal. These were on my group, How Symphonic, and people have posted quite a few stuff and have... I heard some of their stuff um, quite a while ago and they did an unboxing video on their last release. It's somewhere on the channel and I thought it was absolutely cool. So I obviously had to pre-order their new album and I can't wait to get into that and give it a listen. Then the next one is the very best of Motorhead. Everything Louder Forever. I know I've got like how many Motorhead best ofs but um, this one's got um, the game which was the wrestler triple h and it's his theme and then also there's a couple of tracks on here which are not on um any of their albums or anything like that so it was a no-brainer that i had to grab this and put it into my um collection then we have the latest studio on by running wild which is blood on blood um they're german heavy metal but they're the but they are the pioneers of pirate metal so Absolutely fantastic band, been around since the 80s and I've not seen them live. I would love to see them live and this is their new studio album. Can't wait to listen to it. Really can't wait. Then we have Where Fear and Weapons Meet, which is a new studio album by 1914. These are um, Ukrainian Black and Death slash um, Do Metal. I watch a thing on YouTube called Banger TV and it's um, once a month there's a video and it just tells you all the releases that are coming out that month. And um, they played so many seconds of, um, is it Pillars of Fire, the Battle of Messines? They played some of the um, uh, part of that song and said about the album's going to be released and it really grabbed me. I listened to it and loved it. So I went on YouTube and watched the full promo video. Absolutely loved the song. So I thought just based on that song, I've definitely got to pre-order the album. I've not listened to nothing more off this album, but my one of my good friends on Facebook, um, Craig, Craig Priest, said that, um, you know, basically he's jealous because I've got the full, the rest of their back catalogue to listen to, to dip into. So, you know, he said they're, well, he's, you know, they are brilliant. So I can't wait to dip into them and actually give them a full listen. Then we have um, A Wisp of the Atlantic. This one came from Tampan, came from um, HMV, and it's the new Soil Work EP. Guessing it's their EP because it's five tracks. Their last studio album I thought was absolutely cool. I've caught these at Bloodstock a couple of years ago, and they were really good. So I can't wait to get into the EP and give it a listen. Then we have the new studio album Hushed and Grim, which is... Mastodon, US Prog Metal. I've got near enough their full back catalogue. I think I'm missing like one studio album, but their last studio album, Emperor of Sands, I thought was absolutely cool. And I've seen them once, so hopefully I um, get to see them again. And I really can't wait to get into this album. I've not listened to nothing off this album yet, no songs, because I just thought I want the album through so I can give it a full listen. I know some people say listen to one or two songs before you buy the album. Just to see if you want to get it. But I'm like, I've said to them, if I'm into a band, <coughs> say I'm actually into a band and I've got their back catalogue and they've got a new studio album coming out, I will pre-order it. I will definitely pre-order the studio album of the band. But then I've been told, well, if you think the album's um, rubbish or something like that, I'll still keep it in my collection because I can guarantee I'll find at least one song on the album which I'll enjoy. Then the next one we have is Restless Heart, which is the 25th anniversary 2 CD edition of white snake um you get the 2021 remix and the 2021 remaster so i do have the original so i can't wait to um 
actually give these two CDs a listen to see what the difference um, sound. Um, really can't wait to get into that. Then I'll show you the one vinyl first. This is Charlotte Vessel's Tales from Six Feet Under. She's the ex-vocalist of Delane. Was um, left the band not long recently, which was a bit of a shame. But um, I know this popped up um, on Amazon for pre-order. And I've not listened to nothing off this, but obviously pre-ordered it straight away because it's Charlotte Vessel and I love Delane. But it'll be interesting to see what the new lineup of Delane, because I know the, the, only the one member's left in the band and the rest had gone. So it'll have a new band. So I'm eager to see what it sounds like. And... I cannot wait to get into this Strictly Limited Edition, which is awesome. So I can't wait to give that um, vinyl a spin. Then this next one, I've been waiting for this for I don't know how long. And I absolutely cannot wait. I've listened to um, Moonlit Rendezvous, which is absolutely fantastic. And then the track, which was um, One Night in Tokyo, which wasn't too bad. But I really can't wait to get into this album and give it a listen. And I have the vinyl and the um, CD version. And you get two extra tracks, which is absolutely cool. And that's a new, if you can see that, it's a new Beast in Black album. I really can't wait for this. I absolutely love Beast in Black. Um, Berserker, absolutely incredible. From Hell With Love, absolutely fantastic album. I've seen these four times. And the first time I actually heard Beast in Black... Um, I thought it was a woman and then a couple of days later i'd um gone on youtube and i watched a promo video for blind and frozen and i was shocked to hear that it was a bloke because he's got like a woman's voice which i thought was absolutely cool so his vocal range is absolutely fantastic he can growl he can you know scream he can do everything this guy is a bloody how his vocals is a genius and finally by anton Anton, is it Zabaleta, I think his last name is. He left Battle Beast because he was kicked out of Battle Beast. And this is what he formed, Beast in Black. So I absolutely cannot wait. This is my going to be my most anticipated album to listen to. So I really can't wait to get into this. Um, as I said, I've seen him dozens of times. So I will be unboxing this straight away. And the track Blade Runner, that sounds interesting just from the name. There's a few on there, just the names pink my interest. So... I will be on when I unbox them. I will be unboxing both of them at the same time, CD and vinyl. So I might as well get them done both in the same video. So yeah, that has been my um, latest haul. Absolutely can't wait to get into all of these and give them a um, unbox and listen to them. At the moment, I've been currently listening to um, "Existence Is Futile," which is a new Cradle of Filth album. I think that's absolutely awesome. So. I've played that quite a few times and I also just played a few hours ago um, Leave a Scar which is the latest Dee Snyder album and I really enjoyed that album so it needs more of a listen but I did really enjoy it so yeah that's my latest haul I do have some more stuff CDs coming over the week I had Amazon saying about three CDs should turn up so they will put to one side and I'm going to get enough of um, CDs vinyl and whatnot I'll do another latest haul so Remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I've got um, loads of unboxing videos to do. I've got a stack of them and I've just done a load. So they're up on there scheduled for over the coming week. Loads of um, unboxing videos of my collection. So I'll see you in the next unboxing video. So take care and stay safe.